English. I'm French, so I have to think with different languages. Uh, that's Europe. Um, uh, first of all, let me give you an opportunity to welcome you here in the uh, in this uh, international trade union house, where the, where the ETUC is based, uh, together with our other international uh, trade union confederation, the ITUC, so the International Trade Union Confederation, as the European Trade Union Confederation, and uh, many sectoral federations, not. Une Europa. Une Europa is not based here in this building, but the industrial, for example, or other trade, uh, sectoral trade unions, uh, European Federation, they are based here. Uh, on the particular topic of platforms, it is very, it is a very important topic, and we are discussing it now at the right timing for both reasons, because there are uh, EU initiatives who, who have strong links and who, uh, uh, which concern, which have a. Uh, direct or indirect impact with the platform economy, and also because, as just uh, as uh, just mentioned by uh, Stefania, uh, we see more and more trade union initiative and and collective bargaining and social dialogue achievement uh, thanks to the mobilization and the, uh, the action of trade unions. So we we see. Two uh, reasons to be maybe optimistic on this uh, on these topics of uh, of platform economy because I would say that uh, as responsible for digitalization and platform economy uh, in the ETUC, the debate and all the stories started started a bit badly in a way that you know um, on the, on one side uh, the institutions the public authorities and the EU institution in particular the Commission. When they, tr when they started to, 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 to tackle the issue of the so-called collaborative economy or sharing economy or uh, gig economy, let's call it the platform economy, it was very positive. Gross opportunities, uh, don't touch to, the, to, to it, don't regulate too much. This was the first initiative uh, uh, published by the, by the Commission in 2016. So this was, this was a very uh, naive uh, narrative on the, on the collaborative uh, economy. On the other side, and we are between us, uh, the trade unions were really negative because of, of, of the, the, the first development of the, 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 the platform economy, and there were many reasons to be negative, negative on the platform economy, but without necessarily uh, aiming at being um, uh, in it or trying to, to organize the workers. And I, I would say that now the situation changed because many could have considered that uh, the platform, uh, platform economy was the symbol of the modernity and that uh, trade unions were totally uh, outdated. But in fact, we realized that it's not the case. Uh, because uh, when you face uh, unfair working practices or uh, you are, I don't know, forced self-employed or you are not even paid uh, with a decent remuneration uh, for the work you deliver, the first... Uh, human reflex or habit is to is to is to get organized in or without a trade union uh, but to get organized so this this is also an opportunity for us uh, to to see that there is an opportunity uh, uh, in our future or whether it is uh, in the classical so-called classical economy or in new forms of uh, work or or economy um, so, these new developments in terms of trade union action and, 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 and collective bargaining and uh, agreements reached uh, in the recent weeks are very, very important. Uh, this agreement uh, on the European company uh, with a, a work council uh, that was established in uh, uh, Delivery Hero, but also uh, two weeks ago, this agreement in... Uh, house cleaning company or house cleaning platforms uh, for domestic work uh, in Denmark uh, where uh, the local union uh, 3F uh, succeeded in, uh, in reaching an agreement with these platforms on uh, a, a 19 euro per hour uh, minimum wage or minimum remuneration, let's say, because there is a mix of self-employed and, and uh, employees with the contribution from the platform on sick pay, on uh, holidays, 
uh, on pensions is also a, a, another step uh, like the one of, uh, of delivery EU that is really important. And we, we need many, many more examples like that, ad hoc solutions, concrete solutions. Of course, the objective is not to find the miraculous solution of the platform economy, but to find concrete solutions for workers in this platform. So this is the initial aim, the historical aim objective of the, of the trade unions. And this is the way we will, weeks after weeks, maybe years after years, regulate, maybe try to, 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 to make the platform economy a bit uh, fairer, I would say, for workers. And this will give us, as well, many arguments for public authorities, legislators, national government, and also for us, and above all for us, uh, European institution to launch concrete and hard law initiative on how to 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 regulate the the, the platform economy, because in our position it was really difficult to de to to ask for the European institution to go for uh, hard law and in particular on the respect of workers' rights and, and workers' participation without concrete examples of uh, trade unions being able to organize or to represent and negotiate on behalf of these, uh, these, uh, uh, these workers, concrete solution on workers' participation or minimum pay or, or different uh, or, or agreement covering different topics. So the more, the more, the more we have agreement, uh, the more we have material to, to prove that it can, that uh, of course, uh, a level playing field in the platform economy is needed and that uh, uh, legislators should also have a look uh, have a look at this. Um, that's for the, the um, let's say the, the, the trade union activity. Uh, we are uh, this week. Uh, the European Commission will launch an initiative on the platforms uh, next Wednesday. I mean the, the, the day after tomorrow, uh, they will launch an initiative on platforms. And unfortunately, it will not cover the platform, the so-called labor platforms. Uh, but the aim of this initiative, I would say, is, 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 is good. Is to, uh, or in their, um, how do you call it? Um, in their report, the report that the Commission used to, to launch this initiative, uh, they, let's say, uh, discovered that there were many unfair practices uh, between uh, platforms and their uh, and the small companies that are, um, that are working with them. For example, hotels or small producers of products or uh, uh, yeah, many SMEs uh, working with platforms. So if you look, they were looking first at uh, platforms like uh, Booking.com. Uh, like uh, Amazon, of course, uh, other platforms like that, where some SMEs or um, producers are selling products. And sometimes they are deactivated from the platforms, sometimes something that sounds familiar to us on other types of platforms. Uh, they have no redress mechanism or no even, uh, not even a contact uh, or an address to contact in case there is a, a disagreement or something that should be clarified on the ranking, for example, on the platforms. Uh, no possibility to negotiate or address any problems in terms of a price or, or price setting. Again, another thing that sounds familiar to us. Uh, and many issues where, okay, at least there is a, a first attempt in Europe to try to, to regulate the relationship between these Monopolies or monopsonies, these new these winners take all uh, companies, uh, and uh, small owners. And our uh, we came to the Commission by saying, okay, look at these unfair practices. They are not only so-called SMEs that are facing these practices, but also people, whether they are workers with a working contract or self-employed. I mean. This is not there uh, in, in the DG working on, on this, on internal market. They are not really looking at the, 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 the relationship. Uh, but uh, our point was to say there are people, individual people, facing the same unfair practices. So you have to deal with it. Um, unfortunately, politically, 
in particular by the Commission in charge, Maria Gabriel, the decision taken, and we are quite sure that the, 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 the initiative presented uh, on Wednesday won't tackle as such the labor, uh, the labor platforms. Maybe a kind of a new European uh, observatoire uh, on platforms will be created to see how, how, it, uh, how the situation changes. But it will, for sure, tackle some practices uh, between SMEs and platforms, but not for workers themselves. Uh, this text will go to the Parliament, and we hope before the end of this Monday that we hope we will find allies uh, to maybe broaden a bit the, the, the scope of this initiative and make sure it, it will cover also the reality of people. Uh, there is another initiative where uh, platform economy is concerned. Uh, more on working condition, a bit less on the supply chain because the, 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 the first one I've just presented is, is really, really concerned the supply chain in a way or another. Uh, the other one is on the new, um, the new directive on the fair and predictable working condition. You know, this directive was launched in the framework of the social pillar. Uh, that was adopted uh, in uh, last year, in November last year. So the, the Commission presented a, newly, uh, a new directive on uh, fair and predictable working condition. And here, okay, to, 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 to keep it short, uh, there is an issue on the EU definition of worker. Because so far, the definition you find in the text or in the treaties or in the case law uh, are focused on, let's say, employees. So one of the challenge for us would be to make it that, to make sure that the definition the definition covers for sure employees, but also a wider range of workers, what the so-called atypical workers or self-employed, to make sure that when it, when they are working with platforms, for example, uh, first of all they could be cons they could be covered by social right and collective bargaining, and when they are wrongly classified. They are reclassified more easily uh, everywhere in uh, in Europe. So, again, it's a, it's a, a daily, let's say, activity uh, we have in the because the text is in the Parliament. So again, we we are, we are uh, looking at finding allies uh, to change the the, the the text and make sure the definition is is uh, covers as well a typical workers and, and platform workers. So on this, I can't give you a final answer, but we we'll, I hope. Uh, to come back to you uh, before the end of this month, the man, before 2019, where the Commission and the Parliament will stop their activity, before next EU elections, uh, with uh, positive uh, outcomes of that. Uh, I will finish just by saying that um, 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 we, we will continue our work uh, at, uh, at European level as ETUC to um, reinforce and... and uh, further develop our trade union platforms on platforms, uh, where uh, we are, of course, uh, um, uh, making our job towards EU institution, but where we are trying to join forces uh, of uh, every colleague uh, active on uh, to represent, to negotiate, to, to uh, achieve some uh, a concrete result for uh, for platform workers. Uh, we had uh, uh, different examples and, and one very striking, very important one with the agreement uh, in Fudora. And, uh, and we are really committed to, to, to further develop that uh, uh, and to make sure that, uh, yeah, uh, this will multiply. Uh, there will be a multiply. We could be one of the multiplier effects uh, in the trade union movement. Uh, my final remark will be that maybe, maybe again, by being Europeans, we have an opportunity because, okay, in platform economy, we have focused our attention on some cases like Uber, like uh, Deliveroo, uh, maybe now a bit less like uh, on Fudora because uh, we see that they are first initiative with the works councils, but we are focused on few um, platforms. But if you look at the reality, sometimes they are very small platforms, only focused on some cities. And when you discuss with them, they are not their plan is not necessarily to behave like Uber or Deliveroo or to being the, the winners take all in the end, takes all. Uh, so uh, maybe I'm a bit too much op optimistic, but uh, I, I want to believe that there, is a, there could be a European way 
to shape the platform economy in a way that uh, some European platforms or some newly European uh, uh, startupers, I don't know how to call them, employers or uh, investor will try to see how uh, to, to, to make it more uh, responsible on the supply chain, on the, the, the working conditions. And uh, this is also an opportunity for us to, to, to start negotiating or discussing with them how to organize these workers and how to possibly uh, multiply uh, agreements in the platform economy. Thank you.